welcome to my June favorites video. I cannot believe it is July. And I know I say that every favorites video, but like for real this time, like can we believe 2020 is halfway done and we spent the majority of it inside? Crazy. So yeah, June has been a pretty long month, but I have found quite a few things that I have like really consistently been using and loving throughout the month of June and in May. I didn't do a May favorite, so this is kind of like the last couple of months combined. So hopefully you guys find something in this video that you might be a little bit interested in. If you like favorites videos, give this one a thumbs up and you know the drill. If you are not already, please subscribe down below. I would love to have you. And let's just get into all of the favorites. So I'm gonna start with beauty favorites as usual. I have quite a few. So first I have a couple of primers that I've kind of been alternating between or using in combination. Um, the first one is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I feel like I might've talked about this on my channel before, but I recently picked up the full size. For a while I was just using the sample size, but this stuff is my favorite sunscreen to wear on my face. If you want to wear like an everyday SPF under your foundation, this one is a great one for that because it goes on kind of like a silicone based primer. Like it's very silky smooth on your skin. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't feel thick or sticky at all. Does not leave your skin like with a white cast at all. Like they said, it is unseen. It kind of comes out clear or translucent, not white like a lot of sunscreens. So yeah, this I have been using pretty much every every single day, especially if I'm going to be outside. I put this on underneath anything. Even if I do want to go in with a second primer, I will always put this on underneath. And that leads us to our other primer that I have been loving lately, and that is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I'm sure you guys have heard everyone rave about the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer that was like in the jar, and it's kind of like a putty almost. I've tried a sample of that one, but I was never into it because I just don't like digging my fingers in that and then like wiping it on my face. I felt like I had to use a lot of product, and I just, I don't know, I just never wanted to spend the money on it but when I saw that they came out with a liquid version I was like now that I could get behind. This one's really nice. It is like very silky, makes your skin a little bit glowy, but not like dewy. And it just makes everything else glide onto your skin so smooth. I see like a notable difference in the way my foundation goes on when I put it over top of this primer compared to when I use other primers, especially if you use a brush to apply your foundation, you're gonna want like a silky smooth um, finish underneath to really make that brush application seamless and not streaky. So this is really great for that. An eyeliner that I have been loving is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. So I told you guys in my Sephora haul um, a while ago that I had been using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On and it just like kind of started running underneath my eyes. I picked this one up because it had really good reviews and a lot of you said it was amazing in the comments and that it just stays on really well. And I have to agree with you guys. It is amazing. It does not run under my eyes. I just put it like on my waterline right here. It doesn't run underneath. It doesn't like get smudgy. It doesn't really make its way into the corners of my eyes quite as much as the Urban Decay one. And it also stays on a lot longer than that one did. Until like a new one comes out that is much better, this is going to be what I repurchase for eyeliner. And I am someone who wears like waterline eyeliner every single day. I just like the way I look better with that. Um, I know not everyone does, but if you are someone who is an eyeliner girl, you gotta try this one because it is my all-time fave. So next, a couple of lip products. The Gucci lipstick that I picked up in my last Sephora purchase, I have been using nonstop. I really, really love it. First of all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It just looks so, I don't know, luxurious, because it is. So this is in the shade The Painted Veil, and it's just kind of like a darker mauve. It's actually what I have on my lips today. So I love this lipstick because it is still like a neutral, but it's dark enough to kind of give you that like sultry, like like full glam sort of vibe if that's what you're going for. Um, so I really love the color of this lipstick, especially on my skin tone. I like the formula as well. It is a matte lipstick. It kind of reminds me of the Pat McGrath matte lipsticks. So if you like that really matte sort of finish, but still smooth and not as like 
powdery feeling, then I feel like you're gonna like this one a little bit better. And if you are wondering what is shiny over top of mine, it is just the Gucci Gel Gloss, which I do like as well. Um, it's really easy to just throw on. It's not sticky at all. It's kind of weird how it, like not sticky it is. It's almost a little oily, but um, I do like it. I just take my ring finger and just kind of like dab it around on my lips. So that is the combination I'm wearing right now. Another gloss I have been loving is this Hourglass Unreal um, like kind of plumping gloss, I believe. So I had one of these in like a nude shade and I really, really loved it. So when Hourglass was doing their 20% off sale on their website, I decided to pick up another shade and I wanted to go a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So I picked up this kind of electric sparkly pink color and I'm so happy I went with this because I love it. I've been wearing it nonstop and it's actually not as bright as you would think, which I'm kind of happy about because I'm not someone who likes to walk around with like bright pink lips, but I will say this shade just gives you like the little bit of pink that you need and it's like very iridescent. It has like the gold flecks in it. Just really gorgeous um, topper to a like nude lipstick or a slightly pink lipstick, anything like that, or just on its own. It's really, really beautiful and I love the plumping aspect and a lip gloss. I think I don't know, just like why not, you know? Another sort of beauty thing that I tried out during quarantine was the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. So I obviously have my eyelash extensions back on now. I just got them done maybe like two weeks ago. Before that, you know, I had them off for over a month during quarantine, maybe two months. I'm not sure exactly now. During that time, I wanted to try to grow my real lashes um, just to kind of get them like back at like a healthy state. Not that eyelash extensions are like super damaging to your lashes but I think it's no secret that it's probably gonna stunt the growth a little bit so I wanted to just kind of you know enhance my lashes so I picked up this serum it was a six week supply I believe and I do think that it really did work I'm gonna be honest I didn't use it religiously like every single night but I used it probably every other night or every three nights, whatever, and I still feel like it made a really big difference. By the time I got my lash extensions back on, my real lashes had made a substantial change. Like they were definitely growing more and more each week. So I was really happy with the results of this. So if you are um, in need of like something to grow your natural lashes and you don't mind spending a little bit of money on it, uh, I think this is like four I want to say for the six week supply and maybe like 65 70 for the 12 week I'm really not sure but everything will be linked down below a couple of hair care items I have been loving I'm going to mention these two together because I use them together you guys told me how to pronounce this in my Sephora haul but I'm forgetting anyways that is the brand I think it's like Kerastase Paris I don't know but it is the resistance serum um, it's like a leave-in conditioner for severely damaged hair and this stuff smells amazing first of all like oh my goodness it smells incredible like you know when you go to a salon and you like the best smelling product they use on your hair like that's this it is so good and when it comes out like I kind of want to put a little bit out just to show you guys because when it comes out two things come out so it's like a serum and a conditioner. So those two kind of like mix together and um, go in your hair. It is the most silky smooth, amazing smelling thing that I've ever put on my hair honestly so I have a feeling I will continue to buy this from here on out it, I love just like the two-in-one leave-in conditioner mixed with the like hair oil and then the other product is the drunk elephant tangle spray the leave-in treatment I think is like more of a necessity for me but the tangle spray is more of just like a convenience thing like it is really nice to um, help get the tangles out of your hair before like you brush it or blow dry it like I use my Revlon brush blow dryer so you kind of of want your hair to be a little bit smooth and like tangle free before you run that blow dryer through it so these products really help me achieve like a smooth um, wet hair before I go in with my Revlon brush blow dryer that's like a tongue twister blush blush I keep wanting to say blush bro dryer 
No. I only have one skincare favorite this month because I'm trying out a new skincare line, which I will hopefully tell you guys about really soon, but I do uh, still switch up my masks and everything, and I really love this Tula sheet mask. And I don't know if you guys watched my things I bought because of advertisements video, but Tula, the company, the skincare company, was featured in that video, and I was like such a skeptic about their sheet masks because I was like, sheet masks are all the same like they're literally just like a serum on a piece of paper and you put it on your face but then I tried this one and it's actually a much higher quality sheet mask in my opinion it's not like a piece of paper like you know the thin paper sheet masks which like if you like those nothing wrong with it I'm sure the serum does work I'm not saying they don't work I'm just saying they're kind of just like all really similar but this one to me was a little bit unique and different because of the consistency of the sheet itself it's almost like a gel which it, that's what it is called it's called an hydro gel mask so um, I wish I could take it out I'll try to or a photo yeah it's like a really thick gel mask with a serum on it and I feel like to me that's a lot more relaxing because the gel just like cools my face and just makes me feel completely refreshed honestly like this is my favorite sheet mask I've ever tried so if you are into masks and you just want one that you pop on really quick not like a thick cream or anything like that I really recommend these guys because they are good a couple of body care favorites I want to talk about this Coco and Eve body moisture whip lotion this is another thing that I featured in my first um, buying things from advertisements video so in that video I talked about the smell being like candy or something like it is the most strong smelling like good smelling lotion that I have that is like kind of what it looks like it's really thick so I've went through quite a bit of it but um you don't need a lot a little bit goes a long way which is really nice but it's funny with the smell I think it's smells really good but literally every time I have this on or every time I'm like in our bedroom putting it on my husband never fails every single time he's like you smell good what is that smell oh my god and I'm like it's the so like after like three or four times I'm like it's the same lotion like every time I'm putting on this lotion he comments on it and it cracks me up because I'm like it is it ended up being the same exact one every single time he's like oh now he knows so he's like oh my gosh you and that lotion smell like candy I'm like I know right it is so good this lotion is also supposed to be good for skin firming and I have a lot of lotions that claim to be skin firming and all of that but out of all of them I will say that this is the best with that just because it is such a thicker um, consistency so when I put it on I do feel like I don't know I just feel like it's firming anyways I wanted to mention that because me and my husband both love this stuff and then this is a random one that I decided to throw in here last minute but I received this in my FabFitFun box and this is the Spongelli I think that's how you say it Spongel I don't know you guys will correct me if I'm wrong hand cream and this is in the scent coconut verb Bina, Verbena, I don't know. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce anything. It smells amazing and it is so soft on your hands. I'm gonna put some on right now. Ooh, I have swatches on though. I don't know how that's gonna go. It is just incredible. It smells like the coconut sort of beachy smell, but more natural. You know how you get like those like fake coconut smells? But this one just smells more natural. Like it literally smells like I'm at Hawaii or like somewhere where coconuts are just like all over the place. So anyways, if you are looking for a like summertime smelling hand cream, this one is a good one. I love a good hand cream. If my hands feel dry, it like bothers me to like even touch things. Are you guys like that? I just, I hate it. I have to have good moisturized hands. So um, I always have a hand cream on deck. So I was really happy to receive this one in my FabFitFun box. So now for our fashion favorites, I have a few things here to share with you guys and you know I love all of them because all of them are things that I have in multiple colors. So the first thing I want to tell you guys about is an oversized t-shirt from Aerie and I'm wearing one of them right now. I think they're called the Boyfriend Tee. So I have this electric blue color which I really like for summertime. It's so freaking comfortable. I can wear these lounging around the house with leggings and sweatpants all day long or I can tie it in a knot with a pair of of denim shorts and kind of like roll up the sleeves throw on a necklace and it can be worn out in public and still look like you tried really hard so I have the electric blue color and then I also have this maroon color which I love this color all year round but especially in the fall this is going to be really pretty 
as well. They're just like really thin, like lightweight shirts. Um, not gonna be too like thick or like heavy or sticky during the summertime. And like I said, there there's enough fabric and it's thin enough where you can tie it in a knot or tuck it in if you want, or you can just wear it and it covers your booty um, over leggings or bike shorts or whatever. So I got mine in a size large. I don't think you need to size up. They are plenty oversized as is. I have these two and then I actually have a white one that says feisty on it and that one's really cute as well. So definitely recommend these if you find one. They kind of sell out and come back in stock quite a bit. So if you find one in your size, I would recommend grabbing it because these go like hot cakes. Speaking of bike shorts, I have a couple pairs to show you as well because these t-shirts I wear a lot with them and then I will also show you another thing that I wear a lot with them as well in a minute. So this first pair I kind of call like my lounge bike shorts. They're very, very, very stretchy. They're so freaking soft, like the softest pants or pair of leggings or anything like that that I've ever felt. And they are high waisted, but like I said, they're super stretchy, just like really comfortable. Like you could eat as much as you want in these and just lounge around, do cartwheels and you're gonna be comfy you know so definitely recommend these for just like lounging traveling you know that sort of thing and then the other pair that is an entirely different vibe is a pair of Spanx bike shorts I mean look at these like obviously a totally different vibe still really stretchy obviously like they're Spanx and both of these I have in a size large by the way um, but these are more of like I would work out in these I would still travel in them they're still comfortable but these like I would feel comfortable working out in them or like moving a lot because this waistband here it stays put girl it just squeezes you in and it stays freaking put these are in a camo print which is super cute but yeah these for like a workout bike short is really adorable with just like a tank top or a little cropped tee I'm not someone who usually likes working out in shorts because I don't want my thighs rubbing together nothing like that but a longer short like a bike short or cycle short whatever you want to call it is a much better option so love these Spanx ones and I believe these are like $50 so speaking of things to wear with bike shorts these bra camis from Victoria's Secret have been my life lately what happened was I ordered this one which is just the white one on their website and I fell in love with it and I was like, I literally need this in every single color. Basically what it is, it's like a little cami, but um, it has built in bra pads and it has like even a kind of like shelf bra in there as well, but it does have pads. You can wear this without a bra. I mean, it has a built in bra. So I love that about it. I don't know, I just absolutely love it. They're A, super comfortable, really flattering. I'm usually not someone who gravitates towards like tight clothing, especially loungewear, but I love these. I fell in love with it like I said so usually what I'll do is wear these little bra tops with a pair of bike shorts or leggings and then um, you know around the house I'll just wear those as is but if I'm like around friends or you know whatever I'll usually put like a little light cardigan or something over top just for a little bit more coverage um, so yeah I bought the white one fell in love with it so then I went back and ordered a black one which has dog hair all over it I need to wash it but I wanted to show you guys for the video I got a light green green one and I got a light pink one. So literally all of these I wear non-stop. They are the best. Next I wanted to mention a couple of scrunchies I picked up from Anthropology. I saw these when I was in the store and I just had to have them. They're so oversized and so cute. So I picked up the cream colored one and the like sage green one. They are like really silky, very good quality. I mean what what can you really say about a scrunchie? I just liked these because of how oversized they were they are freaking precious I just love them and they also look cute on your wrist I mean they're like I said really oversized but like I would totally just wear this on my wrist it's comfortable looks cute looks like I don't know good quality because it is and these are only eight dollars which I thought wasn't a bad price for anthropology and they have literally so many colors and patterns to choose from if you are a scrunchy gal and you like you know the oversized look 
definitely go to their website and check them out because I'm sure you'll find a color or pattern that you just have to have. So next up, some home stuff. I wanted to mention a glass calendar that I picked up recently from Target. I've had this for a couple of months now and I just think it is so precious and beautiful and it's from Target for like $40 when I have seen this exact same thing sell on Etsy for like hundreds of dollars. So literally the moment I saw Target had one, I was like, I have to get that and it's hanging on my wall right over here. So I will film a clip of what it looks like hanging on the wall. It's just like very elegant. If you have like an office space or um, like if you're in school, like a dorm room, an apartment, like whatever it is, or if you're a family, having this in the family room or like kitchen or something would be really gorgeous too. It is fun to just like fill it in every month and it just looks aesthetically really nice in this office space. It comes with a white marker. You can buy separate dry erase markers as well. And and it has like gold accents on it. It is gorgeous. So if you're looking for a more affordable like acrylic or glass calendar look, go to Target or order online because my Target is sold out of them in store, but they are still available online. So another home thing from Anthropology is this floral oil diffuser. Honestly, I didn't think I would love this as much as I do, but I'm literally obsessed with it. It sits on my end table in my living room. If you guys have not seen my um, affordable like boho home decor haul, you gotta go watch that. I will link it down below. But in that video, um, this is one of the pieces that I mentioned. This is from Anthropology. It is $28. If you're not crazy about the colors of this one or anything, they have a lot of different floral styles. And it looks like a little floral planter, but it's actually an oil diffuser. So if you're into like essential oils or like um, anything like that on your own, you could use your own. But I picked up one from Anthropology, and I'm happy I did because this stuff is like potent. Any other like diffuser that I've had, like the wick diffusers, I've gotten some from like Kirkland's or anywhere. I'm like, these literally do not work. I can't smell it at all. This one though, it literally, I can smell it throughout our entire living room. I actually need to um, replenish the oil. As you can see, it's empty. But yeah, I'll kind of get it a little bit more up close so you can see. Just so beautiful. I love it. And the scent that I got is the papaya jasmine. And it's just like fruity and just tropical and so amazing. Like I love this smell. And the oils are only 10. So really I don't feel like that's a horrible price for anthropology home decor. Some more smell good items. These are two candles from Bath and Body Works that I have been loving lately. Since I've been home so much lately, I have been burning candles more and more and more. I love to burn candles when I'm home. So the two that I have been burning most often are these two right here. The first one is Berry Waffle Cone and guys, this candle is amazing. If you guys are big Bath and Body Works candle people, then you will know the strength of the scent of a candle differs. Like you could have one Bath and Body Works candle that you smell like immediately and you're like, dang, that smells good. Like it fills up your whole house. And then another one could be like a little bit more mild and really not like fill up your whole house, just maybe fill up a small bathroom, whatever. So the strength of the scents of Bath and Body Works candles can vary. This one is a really strong scent. Like if I'm burning this in my master bedroom, like as soon as you walk in, like you smell that baby into our kitchen and everything. Like really strong scent, but I love that. If I'm burning a candle, I wanna freaking smell it, you know? Love this one. It just smells like summertime, like sweets and fruity. Like, I don't know, just if you were at like a fair, like all of like the syrupy, good smelling sweets, um, that's kind of what it smells like mixed with like a little bit of fruity. If you don't like super sweet smells, you might not like this, but I am obsessed with it. And then the other one that is a totally different vibe is the mermaid hair. Don't care. My mom actually got me this for Easter, I believe. Um, and I have, I waited to burn it more closer to like summertime and I really love this one. It's it just smells like you would think like very beachy coastal the fragrance notes are coastal waves sparkling bergamot uh, sun-drenched musk with essential oil so I burn this one when I'm more in like a calm mood or just want to kind of relax it's equally as strong like you can smell it a lot but it's just like a more less in your face scent. Like to me, the like beachy sort of scents are a little bit more calming. Both of these I really love and both of them you can see this one's almost gone and then this one is halfway gone anyways, but 
Two really great options if you are looking for candles, and I know you can't go in stores right now to smell anything, or maybe you can but don't want to. Hopefully my <laughs> describing them was suffice. Okay, so most of you guys' favorite part of the favorites video is my food favorites or food and drink favorites. So I don't have too many this month, but I do have a few things that I want to share with you guys. So as you know, we do like Weight Watchers and all of that right now. So all of these are like fairly healthy things for you. So the first is a drink. Um, you guys have probably heard of buy drinks, but we have been obsessed with them lately. They are so good, zero points. And um, we got this pack at Sam's Club that had like cherry, watermelon, I think clementine and blueberry. All of them are really good. My favorites are the watermelon and cherry. If you're like me and you're like kind of feeling hungry, but you don't really want to like eat anything or you don't have points maybe, sometimes a drink like this can like hold me over until dinner time or whatever. So that's why I like having these. I'm like a big flavor person. I've never been really too much into sodas, but I do like a good... I don't know, flavored drink water sort of situation. They have like 1% of juice, but other than that, it's just like flavored water, but they're so good. And if you are over 21, me and Patrick actually um, mixed these with a little bit of vodka when we were hanging out with some friends and that tasted really good as well. We did that with the blueberry flavor and it was very good. If you just want a like really simple cocktail, I suggest that as well. And another drink that I've talked about on my channel before is the Alani New Energy Drinks. I talked about these a long, long time ago, but I haven't had them in quite a while because you, I have to order them online. Our GNC near us closed down. Well, recently I ordered two cases. So we have 24 energy drinks in our house right now. I got 12 of the sour peach ring flavor and then 12 of the cosmic stardust. The cosmic stardust I had never tried before, but it's really good. The sour peach rings taste like peach rings. And then the cosmic stardust tastes almost just like your classic, like energy energy drink, um, but it is like a little bit sweeter. On their little bottle here, I'll read it to you. It says, finally an energy drink that you can feel good about consuming. Away are the days of high sugar, overly carbonated, obscenely branded beverages. <laughs> Monster, Red Bull, Rockstar. Um, it says, we're here to make things simple with fun and unique flavors that pack 200 milligrams of caffeine, a touch of biotin, and only 10 calories per serving. So again, these are zero points on Weight Watchers if you are doing Weight Watchers. I love them. If you just need a little pick me up throughout the day, these are good. And I only have one snack to show you guys this time and that is the pop chips in the flavor Crazy Hot. These are so freaking good. This is our second bag. I am obsessed. If you guys saw the video, I keep talking about the things I bought from ads, my safe and fair order. I still love Safe and Fair. They have really, really good chips. The consistency of their chips got me thinking that I would like pop chips. I was like, oh, they're kind of like the same texture as my Safe and Fair chips that I like. And I passed by them and I was like, we love hot stuff. I'm gonna try those. I bet they're pretty good on Weight Watchers just because of that like not fried consistency. And these things are so freaking good. They are kind of hot. So if you don't like hot things, I don't think that you'll like them, but um, like that's what they look like. Mmm. So good. I could eat a whole bag of these. They're so good. Like, even if I wasn't doing Weight Watchers or trying to be healthier, these are, like, some of my favorites. They're light and airy, but they have such an amazing taste. We recently picked up the hot or screaming hot veggie straws. Those I would stay away from, guys. I'm not a big fan of those. I would definitely recommend the Crazy Hot Pop Chips over the Screamin' Hot Veggie Straws. I love Veggie Straws, but the Screamin' Hot, it was just like too dusty and it like made me cough a lot. So anyways, these are amazing gotta try them. Okay, and we've made it to the end of our favorites video where I talk about my Netflix favorites and podcast favorites. So on Netflix, we haven't been doing too much Netflix lately. We did finish the second season of Dead to Me, which I love. If you guys have not seen Dead to Me, it is a fabulous show. Christina Applegate in that is hilarious. I love her. And it's overall just a really good watch. And then another one that we recently watched that I really loved, but my husband thought it was super cheesy. And that is Sweet Magnolias. It's just like based in the South. Like it's just like a feel good show. Like if you have a lot on your mind and you just like kind of want to escape and like, um, you know, feel good sort of cheesy show, 
that's a really really good one I don't know it just kind of gets your mind off things so I loved that show and I'm like really waiting for season two because I loved that my husband thought it was the cheesiest show he'd ever watched but he still watched it with me I think he liked it you know. Anyway, so those would be my two recommendations. If you have not seen those, you'll probably like them. As far as podcasts, I've been listening to my same favorites, Crime Junkie, Behind the Feed, uh, She Podcast, all of those. But also recently, I started listening to the Crimes of Passion podcast. That one's really good. They kind of do like reenactments, but I like that one because they really just dive right into the crime itself. It's not a lot of banter back and forth between the co-hosts, which I kind of prefer. I know a lot of people like listening to like Morbid for instance if you guys have heard of that crime podcast. I like the stories that they tell but sometimes those girls just get on my nerves because they like talk too much and I'm like get to the point. I don't have like an hour and a half to just sit here and listen to you guys like I don't know that might be rude but it's just personal preference I as far as crime podcasts I just want to get into get into the details you know and I feel like the crimes of passion one they kind of do that even if it is a little bit cheesy sometimes with the reenactments and then I've also recently gotten back into the gals on the go podcast with Daniel Carolyn and Brooke Michio I love their podcast they're two of my fave youtubers from a long time ago and I've just watched them for a while and I think Brooke and I are the same age but Daniel is a little bit younger than me but anyways kind of around the same age so it's just like fun to listen to them like go back and forth and talk about life stuff um they're very motivational and inspiring girls and of course they both have youtube channels i'm sure you guys have heard of them but anyways so yeah i've been getting back into their podcast and listening to that every wednesday as well so those are my kind of like content favorites so that is everything for my june favorites i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite thing that i talked about today was and what you guys have been loving for the month of june or may or during quarantine whatever like I said in the beginning if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys